I'm here to take you on a tour of one of the coldest habitats on Earth, the Arctic tundra. In the tundra, there aren't very many plants. In fact, there are no trees at all. The wind here is incredibly strong, which makes the air feel even colder. The ground is frozen and nearly everything is covered in ice. In the winter, daylight lasts only a few hours, and at times, the sun does not come out at all. Some ice will still be here in the summer, but in the summer, the top layer of ice melts so that the ground gets wet and muddy. The temperatures here are so low that most people and animals would freeze. All of these things make the Arctic tundra one of the least friendly habitats on Earth for plants and animals. Some plants and animals can only live in the Arctic tundra in the summer months when the temperature is warmer, but some are able to live there all year long. Arctic plants grow very close together and do not grow very tall, which keeps them from being blown away by the Arctic winds. The kind of plants that can live in the Arctic tundra are mosses and different types of grasses. See this creature here? It's called a muskox. The muskox's long shaggy coat has an extra layer of hair underneath that keeps him warm when the temperature is cold and it sheds its extra coat of hair in the warmer summer months. Musk oxen travel in herds so they can huddle together for added warmth. Their hooves are very wide to keep them from slipping on the snow and ice. In the winter, musk oxen use their sharp hooves to dig under the snow to find plants to eat. This is a wolverine. Like the musk ox, the wolverine has large paws to help him move across the snow and that comes in handy when he's trying to catch food. The wolverine uses its fur coat to keep nice and warm. These animals are called caribou and are part of the deer family. They are sometimes called reindeer. These caribou are traveling in a huge herd which helps to protect them against attack by other animals. Their hooves change depending on the time of year so they can walk and run in mushy wet terrain or in hard icy terrain. Male caribou also have antlers to help them dig for grass in the snow. This arctic fox also has a coat that changes during the winter from a brown summer coat into this very thick white fur to help the fox blend into its surroundings. The fur also covers its feet so it can walk on snow and ice. There are other kinds of habitats in the Arctic besides the tundra, and different kinds of plants and animals live in these other habitats. The Arctic Ocean is a habitat rich in sea life and animals that rely on the sea for their food. The water is so cold in the Arctic Ocean that most living creatures would be able to stay alive only a few minutes in it. Animals such as the walrus call the Arctic Ocean home. These huge creatures just love the icy water and can swim around for a long period of time. Walruses can survive in the Arctic Ocean because they store blubber under their skin. Walruses also have long teeth called tusks, which they use almost like arms to pull themselves up out of the water and onto the ice. Look at these cute animals. They are seals. Seals have blubber under their skin also, just like walruses. Some types of seals are born covered with a layer of white fur to keep them warm until they develop blubber. Seals are incredible swimmers. Like fish and walruses, seals don't have arms and legs. Instead, seals have flippers and they swim by wiggling their bodies from side to side, using their flippers to steer. They swim very fast, so they catch plenty of tasty fish. The polar bear is perhaps the best known of all the animals living around the Arctic Ocean. Polar bears are the largest bears in the world. Male polar bears weigh up to 1,700 pounds. That's probably heavier than everyone in your class put together, including your teacher. 
and polar bears grow up to 10 feet from head to toe. Polar bears are covered with a heavy coat made up of two layers of fur, and they have a layer of blubber under their skin. It's a good thing that they have all that fur and blubber and sharp claws, because polar bears spend most of their life living on sea ice, chunks of ice that float in the Arctic Ocean. Like all living things, polar bears need water to survive, and they get that water from melted snow and ice. Even though adult polar bears spend most of their time living on sea ice, polar bear babies or cubs are born on land. Their mothers, female polar bears, burrow in the snow to make a den. They will then hide in the den while they have their babies. They stay in the dens with their young all winter, and in the spring, they finally come out. The cubs stay with their mothers for almost two years to learn hunting and survival skills before leaving home. We've learned a lot about the Arctic habitat and the animals that have managed to survive here. Remember that even habitats as extremely cold as the Arctic tundra and Arctic ocean can be full of life. See you next time. Thanks for watching.